Hello, football fans. Well, week 14 was crazy as hell, wasn't it? A lot of upsets took over that week, and we were on the receiving end of one, but it all makes it, it all results in a very interesting playoff picture entering week 15. Yes, there are four weeks left in the regular season. Week 15 is upon us, and it's uh, it's the last week before the Christmas week, because when the holidays hit, that's when time really starts to run out. But um, let's not delay things any longer. Here is the playoff picture entering week 15, starting, of course, with the American Football Conference. In the AFC, it's the Baltimore Ravens leading the conference at 10-3, and three, the first AFC team this year to reach 10 wins. And they are all alone because the Dolphins blew it on Monday night against Tennessee, so they're down to 9-4 and four and holding the number two spot. However, they stay at number two because the Jags and the Chiefs both lost, which we all know about that Chiefs loss. Chiefs head-to-head, Chiefs are at number three, Jags are at number four. Those are the division leaders. Now, also 8-5, and five, the Cleveland Browns, they're at the number five spot, and that's followed by one hell of a crowded log jam. We have six teams at 7-6. and six. And on top of the, on top of that log jam, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Even though they had that embarrassing loss, that's because pretty much everybody else fell. Um, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh has uh, via tiebreaker holds number six spot. Number seven is Indianapolis, and the other four, the Texans, Broncos, Bengals, and Bills, are all behind the playoff line. And the Bills, even with that win, remain at the bottom of the log jam because they lost games to Denver and Cincinnati. Um, and of course, the Raiders and Chargers who play each other to, to start Week 15, well, they're in trouble. Now, neither, neither one of those two teams can be eliminated. However, whoever loses could end up done next week. Uh, the, t- the Titans and the Jets are also 5-8, but they could be eliminated this week. And that is the AFC picture. It's a mess. A wonderful mess, but a mess. Week 14 resulted in a changing of the guard in um, in the NFC as the officially playoff-bound Samson 49ers are now the number one seed at the moment at 10-3. It's three teams at 10-3. It's the Niners, the Cowboys, the Eagles. Those Niners beat, beat Dallas and also beat Philly. But um, the Niners head-to-head over Dallas makes them number one, and Dallas is number two because they have a better division record than Philly. Uh, the Lions, who had that upset loss to the Bears, sit at number three. And the new number four team, uh, the new number four team right now, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at six and seven. Yeah, that, yeah, like I said, number four is going to be the NFC South spot from this point on. As, as for Philly, they dropped from one to five with that loss. They, they have the top wild card spot, though. That could be a prime spot because number five will face only wins that, that bad division. The Vikings, with their big nail-biting three nothing win, improved to seven six and remained at number six, and that's followed by five teams at six and seven in the wild card race. Only one of them is above the playoff line, and that one team is bah, the Green Bay Packers. That's how messed up the NFC is, because the Rams, the Seahawks, and, their, and all those other teams lost. Our playoff status was not threatened at all. Even with the loss to the Giants, we're still above ground at six and seven. Hopefully, we'll improve that record. But yes, yes, at the yes for the second straight week, the Packers are above the playoff line, and the rest are below it. But it's the Rams on top in that bubble because they have tiebreakers. Rams, Seahawks, Falcons, Saints—that's the order. Also, as a result of the Giants and Bears pulled off upsets, they're one game out of the spot. Can you imagine the Bears making the playoffs with the number one pick in next year's draft? Oh, boy. That's dangerous. Uh, the Commanders are alive only mathematically. Same with the Cardinals. Well, the Cardinals aren't really alive. Both teams could be eliminated this week. But, yeah, that's the NFC in a very weird and delicious nutshell. I crumble. This week, four teams can clinch playoff spots while one team can win a division. Win a division. 
starting from the starting from the AFC, the one team who could clinch this week, the Baltimore Ravens. Now they sit at ten and three, the number one in the conference, and they have a million ways to get in. Now, I'm going to crib note this because explain explaining all these scenarios bit by bit could take t- alone could take ten minutes, but it's true. But according to this, they have exactly twenty five different clinching scenarios. This is ridiculous. This is what happens. That's the result of having a seven and six log jam. Six teams in there, but. The first nine involve a win from the Ravens. And they need a win, and I'm just going to crib note it. They need about two, they need a win and two of those six, seven and six teams to lose or tie. That's pretty much about it. Two of those seven and six teams need to be, need, need to fail to win. And Baltimore has to win in order to get in. The remaining 16, the remaining 16 scenarios involve Baltimore tying. And about three or four of those teams losing, and even some of them involve Cleveland and, and Kansas City losing, but and, and Buffalo and Miami winning. It's just strange, but but uh, we got to either focus on the positive, the ones that involve Baltimore winning, and there's nine of them. The Ravens are in Jacksonville for Sunday Night Football this week. Forty Niners, number one in the NFC. They already clinched the playoff spot. The first team to do it this year. There's 13 spots left overall, and six in the NFC. Uh, the Niners can win the division because the NFC West has been very lopsided this year, and they have a very they, they, they control their own destiny with regard that in that regard. All they need is a winner or tie, or the Rams have to lose or tie. That's it. That's it. The Niners, the Niners are in Arizona to face the about to be eliminated Cardinals. While the Rams are at home against the about to be eliminated Commanders. Simple. The Dallas Cowboys sit at number two in the conference after that big win against Philly. Uh, they had a chance to clinch last week. They didn't get it done, but that's not the fault. That's not their own fault because they got the win. Because of that, this week, this week their scenario is easy. Now, they have. 14 ways to get in. One of them involves that strength of victory uh, tiebreaker. They have to tie it. That involves about six teams, six different teams winning. The other the other 12 involve them backing in. Even if they lose, they can back in with a combination of a few things happening. Think about a combination of some of the six and seven teams losing. But the main one is the more important one. Like I said, because they won last week, they control their own destiny. All they have to do is beat the Bills or tie the Bills in Sunday's late window, and they're in, just like that. The Detroit Lions. It's been seven years since they last made the playoffs. I remember that. It was 2016. I remember the Packers and Lions got the last spots in the NFC, but then had to play each other for the division, which we won. But um, the Lions can get in the playoffs. For the first time since then, they have 16 ways to get in. Now, the first seven involve a win. A win and at least, well, some of them have, some of them need two of the six or seven teams to lose. Some others need three of them to lose. And it could be, I think it could be any of them, but um, it's going to be really crazy. And the and the remaining nine need Involved Detroit tying and three or four of those six or seven teams losing or tying or whatever. But it's crazy. I'm not going to listen to all because that's going to take too much time. But um, in any event, the Lions actually face the Broncos. That's one of the three Saturday night. That's one of three Saturday games this uh, this week. Yeah, I love Saturday football. We're getting three Saturday games, and the Lions are one of them. Last up, the Eagles. And as I said before, they they slipped. They went down from number one from the number one spot to the number five spot, which is the highest wild card position. Um, Phil, this is their third attempt to clinch a playoff spot. They feel they have failed each of the last two times because they lost back to back games. But the scenario is a bit easier for them now. They have nine ways to get in. Eight of them involve them back again with with um, losses from a few of the six and seven teams, and even from Minnesota. You can believe that, but much like Dallas, they control their own destiny. 
All they have to do is win. Now, here's the interesting.